So if you're just like me and you're tired of having to manually go on the Facebook ads library or TikTok Creative Center, right click on an ad, try and download it, then have to compile it into a Google Drive folder and finally be able to send it out to a team member then having to write all of your comments on why you think this is the best ad and why you want to use that as inspiration for your own ads. If that sounds like you, you'll want to stick around to the very end of today's video because I'm about to share with you a tool that saves you from all of this trouble. So meet Addison. Addison is a new tool I just discovered pretty recently. It's honestly been amazing. I put a couple of my friends on that tool already and it allows you to save ads directly from the TikTok and Facebook ad library. So if you've ever used the Facebook ads library, you'll know that all the links expires from ads. So usually if you'll go on an ad and you'll be like, oh, this is a very great ad. Let me send that over to a teammate or let me take note of that ad and make sure that I can create something even better in the future. If I copy this ad link right there, it'll usually expire. Once the ad is off or in a couple of weeks, this link will be different or will just won't exist anymore. So I won't be able to find that ad again. So it'll pretty much be lost forever or I would have to click on the video, right click, hit save. And if you already know how to do it on Facebook, you have to manually add the .mp4 extension to each of the videos you wanna save. So with Addison, it saves every types of ads. It saves carousels, it saves even dynamic ads, it saves videos, it saves photos. It even saves the call to action and the website link that is being used for that ad. So it saves literally everything you would want it to have as reference for this specific ad. And not only does it does that, but I'm about to share with you in just a couple of seconds how the platform works, but you can organize your content by filters, by industry, by niches. So it's very easy for you to find ads as an example for fashion or ads, you know, with a very specific angle that you can tag, right? So it works great. Would you be a e-commerce store owner yourself to filter your ads by content type? or as an agency owner, if you have fashion brands, skincare brands, and so on. So that way you can filter all these ads by niche. If you're new to the channel, my name is Justin and I'm the founder of Wuzzle Media, an e-commerce marketing agency specializing in elevating thriving brands by simplifying e-commerce growth. Before we hop back on Addison, please leave a like, subscribe as well as turn on post notifications to be one of the first to know about these cutting edge e-commerce marketing tips post on our channel every week. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do with them is head over to their website. So there's gonna be a link, the first link in the description down below is gonna be a link for you to sign up on their website. So you wanna head on there, click on download extension. So you wanna download their Google Chrome extension um, and then from there hit the seven day free trial and get going with your trial of the app. Once you're all set up, it's pretty much what you're gonna see. So this is the dashboard that you have whenever you're on the Addison software. So you'll see a library, boards, and a direct link to the Facebook ads library. So at this very moment, this is a blank canvas. I just made this new account for this video just to show you exactly how the software works. So. Once you have installed the Google Chrome extension, then it becomes very easy. As soon as you're on the Facebook ads library of a brand that you like, you're going to start to notice an extra button here that is not usually there. And I think they, they did a pretty neat job. Honestly, it looks like it belongs there. It actually looks like it's a button that is supposed to be there, but you would see right here, there's a toggle by default library. And then let's just hit it for the sake of it with that one. Let's go save to Addison. So you hit save and it'll usually take just about a couple seconds to save that ad over to Addison. And once this is done, I can head back over here to Addison, refresh, and you will see this ad right there. So when you click on the top right icon, it's actually gonna give you all of the information about that ad. So you're gonna see the ad copy, the call to action that was on that ad. So as you, as you can see right there, learn more. That's exactly what we're seeing right there. It is the same copy. You can see the display format. So this is a video. And on what platforms was that running on? So in this case, Facebook and Instagram. And in this case right here, I could also write notes. I could also be writing notes here saying, love the hook within the first three seconds. And then when I just click out of that, you'll see the saved icon and then boom, I have my notes associated with that ad. Every time I click on it, you'll start seeing these notes 
right there. And then let's just say I want to send that over to my agency or I want to send that over to one of my team members and, and be like, yo, this is the place where you want to be. This is the ad that you want to create. Take example of that ad. I love it. As you can see, bottom right, there is, is a share icon. I can click on that and copy the share link to the clipboard. And let's just open it up in a private tab to show you how it looks like. So as you can see right there, essentially, if anybody would click on that link, that's exactly what they would see. They would see a direct link to that ad right there. They would see all of the same information that you had, but they wouldn't be able to edit it. So they would see the notes that you took. They would be also able to download that ad as whatever format it was uploaded as and they uh, essentially would be able to see any other ad that you would have sent them the link to right there. So now, just for the sake of it, I just went ahead and saved a ton of more ads to kind of show you how it looks like. First of all, I think it's very neat how the gallery is being presented. They kind of match up all of the ads in a very neat way, as you can see right there, almost like a Pinterest board. And talking about boards, they give you the ability to create these boards, which essentially you can create a board depending, let's say, on a specific client, or again, you could create a board on a specific content type or even for a specific campaign, right? Let's just say right now the holidays are coming up. You know, there's a couple actually events coming up right now. There's Mother's Day, which is pretty soon. So you want to create a board of inspiration for Mother's Day campaigns. Well, you can go ahead and save a ton of ads that inspire you for that campaign. Go into boards, create a board or just from the library, you can create a new board at the top. Um, essentially for that board name, I could just go right there and say, I could just go right here and go Mother's Day and I could give a description, uh, you know, inspiration for our new campaign and then boom, I can just hit save. I got a new board right there and I could just go and hover around each ad right here and just select, you know, for the Mother's Day. So that way I add the tag to it. And then if I ever go to boards, I can see that these ads are specific to my Mother's Day board. And as mentioned in the beginning, it's very nice because in the library, you can actually filter all of your ads by industries. So now, as you can notice, I've added ads from Byte, which is more into the health and beauty industry, apparel and fashion with Calvin Klein and consumer tech with Google. And if I click on this right here, you're gonna notice that I have clothing brand ads. And you know what? I have the Calvin Klein ads right there. If I ever go to health and beauty, then you would start, let me just remove the clothing, you would start seeing the bite ads. And if I remove that, you would see entertainment for Google and potentially also business, you know, for ads like such. Then if we clear all filters, you can also filter by ad type. Again, you can save out here the carousel, the image and the video ads. So in this case, I could just see all the videos that they have and you can notice different formats. Actually, here you can see two story formats. One is more of a four by five and a landscape video. So then I can start and sort of mix and match these videos, maybe create a new board to have a board about all story format ads or have a board about all four by five ads. And I could do the same for carousels or for images. And now just to show you how it works on TikTok, it's a very similar thing. If you're on TikTok and you head over to the creative center and you look at the inspirations, so all of their top ads, trend discoveries and so on, you want to click on one of these ads, any ads again. So you click on it and then you're going to notice again, save the Addison button right there. So let me just go ahead and hit save to Addison and let's me just add a couple more ads to show you a little bit how it works, just like I did with Facebook. All right. So I just saved a couple of ads from TikTok, and here's the trick. The beauty with this is that it also works for organic content from TikTok. So if you're on browsing on TikTok on your computer, you'll also notice the pop up, you know, bring it up right here, save to Addison. So you can do the same thing with your regular TikTok feed and save any organic post. So Addison becomes a very powerful tool because it can become inspiration for your ad content, but also become an inspiration tool for your organic posts on TikTok. So now if I head back to my Addison library, as you can see, you're going to start to notice these TikTok ads. So if ever those were saved from the TikTok top ads page, you're going to see it right there, you know, TikTok top ads. If those were organic posts saved right here, you're going to start seeing um, essentially the, the actual accounts. And when you click on it, it's very similar thing as what you would see. Essentially, it says ad copy, but it's actually your just a regular text for that post shows you the engagement essentially with that. Obviously, this format is going to be video and platform for sure is going to be TikTok. And now let's just say I've made a board with all of these ads that I want to share with my team, right? I've made a board about ads for the upcoming Mother's Day campaign. So I want to make sure that I share that with my team to make sure that everybody gets on the same page and understand what are we trying to aim for in terms of ad creatives? 
for the upcoming events. So as I showed you earlier, you can share a specific link for a specific ad. But the beauty with Addison, you can also do that with a board. So I can come here right there, click share at the top. And just like I did earlier, actually, I could open up a new tab, copy the URL inside of that. And as you're going to see, you're going to see the hashtag name of that board. So Mother's Day in this case, and you're going to be able to see all of these ads at the same time. So any team member, would they have an Addison subscription or not, would be able to see that board in action. So as of now, that tool saves us a ton of time when interacting with clients, when trying to make up swipe files for ads that we'd like to run with our current clients, or even for our internal ads at the agency, we can use Addison to actually save all of these ads and share links with our clients or with you know other team members a part of the Wizzle Media team. And again, all of the ads that are uploaded to Addison do not expire. It is not like having a link that you have on TikTok and whatnot, they're not directly linked to the actual TikTok ad. They're being saved on the Addison software. So that way, you know, however many weeks in time you will want to look back at the ads that you've saved, they're still going to be on there. So you're still going to be able to go back in time and check all of the ads that you've saved. They won't disappear from your boards. And that helps you create huge databases of swap files that you can reuse and share with, again, team members, clients, teammates, and whatnot. And after speaking very quickly with their founder last week, I got note that they're actually working right now on developing the same thing. So basically adding to their software, the ability for you to save YouTube ads. So that way it would also help you expand to more platforms. They're wishing to expand to more platforms in the future. And the biggest feature that they are going to release very soon is the ability for you to do creative briefs alongside these swipe files. Because right now, the only way you can really use Addison is through these links that you share for people to view inspiration boards. Again, that is almost a little bit like Pinterest. You can take notes under each ads about things that you like, but you cannot give a general direction or a brief to your creative team or to your agency essentially by using Addison. That is what they're working on next for you to attach these swap file or these ads examples essentially to your creative briefs and be able to exchange and review that and give each other feedback essentially through their tools. So they're really wishing to become this tool that kind of does it all for ad creatives online. So make sure to give it a shot. Again, it's a seven day free trial. They do not require any credit cards. The link is going to be in the description down below. So on that note, make sure you check out other videos on the channel for some more useful e-commerce marketing tips and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.